Hi everyone, if you're just joining us, this is part two of a hut build. So if you have not seen part one, go back into my YouTube page and find the first part and then continue on with this one after that video. So right here, what I got going on is I got the uh, post with the twine. I'm doing a grade line. So as you can see, the dirt in the front is lower in the dirt in the back because that string's level so it just gives me an idea of how high my tubes are gonna have to go so let's start um, let's kick the blocks out let's move the leg over and then we'll mark the tubes so as you can see here I got the footing sprayed with some marking paint so I'll just paint that one so I know where to dig I painted this one up here and I did the back two legs as well so these would be my main anchor points now, if anybody doesn't know how a grade line works, it works like this. Basically, you have the string on the post from front to back, and you put a little hanging level on it, and that'll show you if your string's level, because this dirt here is not a level playing field. So I didn't want the hut to lean forward or backward or side to side. I want it perfectly level. So you'll see more as the video goes on how that works out. So there's our first footing, or hole for the footing. Three feet deep with a little bit of mushroom at the bottom. Oh, definitely overkill. Nice. Okay, so our spacing between anchor point to anchor point when we had the frame all square and true was 236 and a half, give or take. Now with the 11 inch tube, we got some room to play with, so. That's where my tape starts, about middle of the tube. Let's see how uh, accurate we are. We're already starting the tape out. So 236 is, is right here. That should, be, uh, that should be perfect. So we got that one dug. Let's get the last one. dug at three feet and tamp down at the bottom so let's set up our string line again so we know how high to cut the tubes to get nice level between the four corners so we got 30 bags of concrete in the Chevy here um, some threaded rod nuts and bolts stuff we'll get to in a little bit but the kit comes with these earth anchors and if, I don't know if you can see or not, but they go on the uprights, not on the legs, they go on the uprights. So we're going to actually use those the way they are. We're going to pound them into the earth, wrap them around, and use the U-bolt right over here. I'll show you all that, but first things first, we're going to support the inside ones with 2 by 4s And then we're going to do the string level right now, and we're going to start pouring. And we're actually going to hover the frame over... Um, Hover the frame over the footings because I don't want the actual frame to sit in the footings. I want them to cure. But I'll explain, I'll show that all to you. So what I'm doing here is pounding my um, grade level line back into the earth. And what I'll do is, is where the line is, I will transfer that pencil mark onto the sonnet tube. So I know when I cut that tube and stick it back in the hole, that will be, the bottom of the footing will be at grade line. It'll be level. And you'll see as it goes on. So now that I got the front uh, post banged in, I'm going to bang in the rear one here. And then as you can see, the line hovers right next to the sauna tube. And I'll be able to transfer a pencil line and cut this back one. So now the both front and back will be level. A string line basically shows you grade. Because if you look right now, you see those two fence posts? Fence posts, or excuse me, hut posts. You can see that clearly, I mean, they're off the dirt, but it's not straight at all. What the string line does is it gives you a level grade line. So if it's level by that tube and level by that tube, I know obviously I'll fill in these middle tubes after, but I want the front post, 
I want the front post here to be the same height or to be at grade as the back post so my tent isn't forward or backwards or left to right or anything like that so that's how that works and you just put a little you put a little level on the string and if it's off you pound it down and raise it up there's other youtubers that do a full in-depth video on it but if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm doing so to give you an example you can see that this string line is just at the top of the earth now let's walk down to the other one so now down here you could see the string line is well above the earth but if you put your uh, if we hang our level on there you could see that that is perfect now I had a level that clipped on it was actually a string line level but that vanished somewhere, but that's good. Let's mark our tube, mark our tube, cut our tube, and then we'll, uh, we will uh, start pouring. You can see that now our tube is at grade with our, um, pretty level too. Our tube's at grade with the string line. And of course, same thing down here, this tube is at grade line. So from this point to that point, they are level. I did a Sharpie mark where to cut my tube so I know the top will be level. So I gotta cut that one and this one and then we can start pouring. I have each one of these sides supported because I wanna pour the concrete, put the threaded rod in, let that cure, and then when I kick the boards out, it'll, it'll rest right on the footing. So let's go ahead and start mixing and pouring. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing here is putting this threaded rod down in the tube here but I'm gonna put a nut and a washer on the back of this right here so that way it wouldn't pull up four bags mixed up let's go fill some tubes Okay, so there's one footing. Here's the second one. The hole wasn't so straight, so I just decided to um, fill the whole thing. So the rest of them came out good. This one looks great. Right at grade level, right with the string. Anchoring. And these big ones, 11 inch ones up front. So I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, this is going to be a good good workspace. I'm going to hang some, probably some four foot LED lights. We have power out here like I showed you earlier. So now that we got the four footings in, we are going to do a mini footing. As you can see, if you look at the top bar, this side is pretty uh, level. We're going to do a mini footing, mini footing under each one of those inside posts. And as you can see here, like that post right there is off the ground. So the elevation is a little bit low over here, as you can see that dip down. But for today, we're just going to let these cure. So I don't want to take those uh, blocks right now are holding the weight off the footing. Except for that one, that one's kind of in it. But either way, 
It's not going anywhere. All right, well, this is going to have to be three parts because I don't want too long of a video, but um, stand by for part three in the hut build. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you on the next one. The next video, I'm going to show you and explain these footings I did for the middle supports. Then we're going to go over the anchoring system and also getting the canvas on. So that will be coming up in the next one. So thanks for watching this one, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.